Although incumbents Eddie Calvo and Ray Tenorio received close to 10,000 more votes than their opponents Carl Gutierrez and Gary Gumatautau, their campaign chairperson Joaquin Perez wants a partial hand recount of the results. As we reported Monday, Perez made the request to the GEC citing several reasons, including the fact that the test run of the tabulation machines prior to the general election turned up some discrepancies. The jurisdictions where these same machines are used, manual audits are conducted, and because the tabulators didn't meet bid specifications, requiring the ability to obtain optical images of the ballots. Senator Rory Respicio is the chairman of the Democratic Party of Guam, as well as the chairperson of the Committee on Election Reform. I think they, they raised a strong argument, and again, I believe that the Guam Election Commission will do the right thing uh, and honor the request, uh, and everything will be resolved before um, November 19 deadline is certified. Uh, we'll provide, um, both parties will provide, I'm sure, all the manpower and, and volunteer uh, work necessary to get this thing done. So uh, they can't claim that money's an issue. They can't claim that they're they're under the under pressure to certify the election results. Uh, everything is uh, set up so that we have this opportunity after every primary and general election uh, to fully resolve these kinds of concerns. The Guterres Gumatautau campus specifically requesting a hand count of 10 precincts randomly selected by lottery by the Guam Election Commission. And then if there's a, a variance, then you, you keep counting some more. But I think that uh, we have an opportunity here to, to fully put to rest uh, the 2014 election uh, by, by resolving it this way. As for Governor Eddie Calvo, he's leaving the matter to the GEC, but is moving forward. Not only did the Calvo-Tenorio team beat out their Democratic challengers, but also won in every single village in Guam, the first in island history. I'll let the, the Election Commission do their jobs. I, I, I believe the people have spoken. I'm focusing right now on uh, bringing all our Republicans, our Democrats, and all the citizens of the islands together and moving forward in the right direction. Uh, you know, we, we feel that there's been a lot of progress over these past four years, but there's still much more to get done. So I'll let those things get ironed out by those folks at the Election Commission.